Hi everybody, my name's Julie. This is a quick video, more for my friends and family, but I also uh, wanted to give lots of love to my friend Jacques. Okay, he passed away, I wanna say a couple weeks ago, and, but I wanted to say this. So, and here's a couple things I wanted to say, was that we actually never had like a conversation, but we were in the same um, filmmaking, indie filmmaking circles in San Francisco because the filmmaking scene in San Francisco is pretty small and the indie filmmaking scene in San Francisco is definitely small. So, but in that scene, I was part of a group called Scary Cow Productions and it's sort of like an indie film, uh, indie film uh, co-op kind of. But that's how I, I me and Jock were, became friends. And we did exchange some emails um, and then my uh, filmmaking mentor, he, he became really good friends with Jacques and that's how Jacques knew who I was. And I wanna say a lot of like positive stuff at, uh, about Jacques because Jacques was really, 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 really nice to me. I found out Jacques passed away, I wanna say a couple weeks ago from uh, cancer and that's super sad. According to my belief system, he's in heaven. Um, I know a year or two ago, I, I was way longer, but four or five years ago, I was in a, um, a screenwriting class in San Francisco with, or actually it was like a assistant production class, but it was some kind of filmmaking class. But I was in a filmmaking class with Jacques' wife and I remember it was like one class, but she was like, I just remember her. I remember she was really pretty, you know. I say that with the utmost respect. She was really pretty, she was really sweet, I remember that. And then I come to find out a year or two later that she passed away. And then fast forward to now, which is 2023, um, I just found out a couple weeks ago that Jock passed away. But I, like I said, I wanna say a lot of nice things about Jock, cause Jock was like super, really nice to me so and this is more for my friends and family so i guess like you hear that like in hollywood some people can be assholes but like jock was like r like the opposite jock was like a really good person like a really nice person like i said we exchanged emails like he knew who i was because we had a mutual friend um he would judge um short he would be the the main judge of like uh short films some film competitions out here in San Francisco. So he was in like the indie film scene out here in San Francisco and everyone um, knew knew who he was in the indie film scene. But I wanna explain what his credits were. So he was, um, he was the cinematographer for Nightmare on Elm Street. So like, if you watch Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, it'll say his credit will come up. It'll say, it, like in the first five minutes, it'll say cinematographer Jacques. I wanna say really nice things about him because he was like, he was so nice to me so he was so encouraging of me and so and he would he would ask my men, my filmmaking mentor who really helped me finish my first movie as far as mentors go Jacques would ask my mentor so how, how's Julie doing how's how's that movie of hers doing so he would check in on me so yeah and um the other thing I wanted to say was uh so, oh and Jacques had a very like a very great career in cinematography so he was he did like second unit cinematography for the fast and furious movies basically i would go see, see movies um to support his career so he also did the expendables i think it's what it's called it's the movie with sylvester stallone and all these like awesome old school like action stars teaming up um he did cinematography for those movies so he had a very impressive career and so and then he'd come to the little indie film scene stuff in san francisco and just give us tips and stuff like that or judge he would be the judge in some short film competitions the other thing i wanted to say about him was so i did an indiegogo campaign to finish my first feature film and um like i don't want to tell his business but i just i want to say he's such a kind guy um because we i think we have like if that, like most of our exchanges were e through emails or Facebook messages every once in a while, but it, uh, I don't know if we ever talked on the phone. 
or, or in person, uh, but I definitely like had met him a couple times. But what I want to say, like nice guy, he um, to for my Indiegogo campaign to finish my first feature film, uh, he gave like a lot of money. But that's where I don't want to tell us this, but like he gave like a lot of money, and I was surprised. I was surprised because. We'd had a couple of like email exchanges, but like we did have the one mutual friend and like he was really good friends with my mentor. And obviously I'm really good friends with my mentor and my mentor is why I decided to make movies. Like my mentor was a huge reason why I decided to make movies. But anyway, I, I that was extremely kind of, of Jacques to give like a lot of money to my Indiegogo campaign so I could finish my feature film because that's just really sweet of him. Like, we, it was just super sweet of him because, like, we hadn't had, like, that many conversations. I was, I was surprised, you know. And he emailed me. He said, Julie, I'm happy to help with any, any way I can with promoting your movie. And that, that's just super, uh, this guy is so nice. <laughs> like, he's such a nice guy. So, uh, I always made, I always went to go see his movies. Like, if I went to see Fast and Furious, it's like, no, I, I'm here I'm here for the second unit cinematographer. Uh, uh, you know, I want my money to just go to him. Anyway, or whatever, you know. So yeah, and then I'd wait for the credits to see his credit show up because he was um, he was just such a good guy. He was such a good guy. So uh, I just wanted to say that like um, he has um, passed away, and it it, it on, on one hand it makes me sad. On the other hand, according to my belief system, you know, he's in heaven with his wife. They're happy, you know, they're reunited. That's my belief system. So, you know, so he's okay. Um, I didn't even know he was sick or dealing with um, cancer. So, uh, you know, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, and they had both worked with Wes Craven, who, you know, directed Nightmare on Elm Street and Scream. And they had both worked with Wes Craven. They both talked about how sweet Wes Craven was. So... According to my belief system, you know, Jacques and his wife and um, Wes Craven, they're in heaven making movies. That's, that's my belief system. But I did feel compelled to just say, like, in this video that, like, Jacques was, like, so nice to me. Um, really, really, really great guy. And he was such a champion of the little indie nerd scene. Uh, well, okay. Didn't... <laughs> But he was such a champion of the, the, the indie film scene in um, San Francisco. Like, he was super encouraging, super nice. Uh, like I said, and, like, and, 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 and for him to give so much money to my Indiegogo campaign, like, I was not expecting, like, I, was expe I wasn't expecting that. So it was so sweet. Such a nice guy. It, just a really nice guy, like always encouraging of me being a filmmaker. So just a really, really, really great person. So, um, so I just wanted to do, this is my little memorial for Jacques because he was a really good guy. Everyone in the Facebook group I'm in, everyone was talking about how he passed away. Everyone had a story of how nice he was to a bunch of indie filmmakers. Um, so we all had like really positive things to say about him so um so yeah I just wanted to make this video this is my memorial for Jacques because uh my experience he was really nice to me super encouraging of me being a filmmaker uh just a really great guy so uh yeah I just wanted to say you know rest in peace Jacques and prayers to his you know his his immediate family but yeah, according to my belief system, he's in heaven and he's safe and sound. But just wanted to, I don't know, just give a shout out to Jacques and thank Jacques for being such a wonderful, delightful, amazing, positive, awesome person um, in my life, in the periphery of my life. But yeah, just a really solid, great guy. So, um, so yeah, rest in peace to Jacques. Yeah, okay, and that's, I just wanted to make this video about him. Okay, all right, thanks so much for watching. I'm Julie, and uh, be kind and loving to the people in your life. Uh, it goes a long way. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.